Greetings everyone. Welcome to part three of our forecasting series, where we look at simple exponential smoothing, otherwise called single exponential smoothing, SES. Here's our formula. The forecast for period T is equal to alpha multiplied by the actual result for the previous period, previous period T minus one, plus one minus alpha multiplied by the forecasted result for the previous period, T minus one. We know that alpha is our smoothing constant and it's a value between zero and one, a decimal. Another note is that if we do not get a forecast to begin with, then we start with a naive forecast for the second period. And that would be saying that the forecast for period two is equal to the actual value from the previous period. Remember we looked at naive forecast when we did our simple exponentials, when we did our simple moving average. We also have another version of the formula that's popularly used, but I prefer the one that we're going to be using. I think it's a little simpler. So you need to know your formulas if you're going forward, since you don't know which version of the formula you might be given. So choose which one you prefer and learn it. All right, here goes. We're doing a simple exponential smoothing forecast using alpha equals 0.2. If alpha is 0.2, then one minus alpha is 0.8. So here goes for January to do a forecast for January. We need a previous actual and the previous forecast. That will be the actual result for December and the forecast for December. Since we don't have those figures, we have to skip January to forecast February. We need the actual for the previous month, which would be the 10 units for January. And we also need the forecast for the previous month, which would be the forecast for January. Since we don't have the forecast for January, we are going to start then with a naive forecast for February. Naive forecast for February says, since the actual sales for January was 10 the previous month, then we expect the actual sales for February to also be 10. Right, so here we start with a naive forecast. Then we can now move on to March. And for March, we are saying, the forecast is gonna be equal to Alpha, which is 0 0.2, multiplied by the actual result from the previous month, February. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 12, plus 1 minus alpha, 0 0.8, times the forecast for the previous month, which is 10. That works out to 10.4, and that's our forecast for March. For April, we want alpha times the previous actual. So 0 0.2 times 14 plus 0 0.8 times the previous forecast, which is 10.4. And this works out to 11.12. And I'm working with two decimal places, so I'll stay consistent with two decimals. May, alpha 0 0.2 times the previous actual, so 0 0.2 times 10 plus 0 0.8 times the previous forecast. So we have plus 0 0.8 times 11.12. This works out to a forecast of 10.9 for May. Then we move on to June. So for June, 0 0.2 alpha multiplied by the actual for the previous month, May. So 0 0.2 times 14 plus 0 0.8 times the previous forecast, 10.9. And that gives us 11.52. Moving on to July. 0 0.2 times 13 plus 0 0.8 times 11.52 gives us 11.82 forecast for July. August, 0 0.2 times the previous actual, 0 0.2 times 12 plus 0 0.8 times 11.82. And this works out to 11.86. Then last but not least, we have September. So we want 0 0.2 times the previous actual, 0 0.2 times 10 plus 0 0.8 times the previous forecast. So 0 0.8 times 11.86. That works out to 11.49. And these are now our forecasts for February up to September. All right, now let's try another one. This time we're using alpha equal 0 0.3 and we're told to start with a forecast of 12 for June. So since we're starting with June, we're going to skip January. Oh, if alpha is 0 0.3, then one minus alpha is 0 0.7. 
So we're starting at June, so we skip January, February, skip March, skip April, skip May. And we start with a forecast of 12 for June. So that's our initial forecast. So doing our calculations for July, we want 0 0.3 alpha times the previous actual. So it's going to be 0 0.3 times 13. Plus 0 0.71 minus alpha times the previous forecast. So it's going to be plus 0 0.7 times 12. That works out to 12.3. Moving on, August, we're going to have 0 0.3 times the previous actual. So 0 0.3 times 12 plus 0 0.7 times 12.3. That works out to 12.21. Remember, we're working with two decimal places. Last but not least, September. 0 0.3 multiplied by 10 plus 0 0.7 multiplied by 12.21. That gives you 11.55 and these would be our forecast for june to september right using alpha equals 0 0.3 all right so thank you we have gone through the forecast and we looked at three techniques we looked at simple moving average weighted moving average and now we just looked at simple exponential smoothing next we'll be looking at forecast accuracy starting with a mean absolute deviation mad thank you for watching Please like and subscribe for more videos.